We're all concerned about money. It is not difficult to comprehend why someone would worry about having little or no money. But even when we have money, we worry. This is particularly valid if we have stock market investments enters a market crash. Stock markets saw a sharp decline in 2020 during the first wave of the COVID-19 pandemic, which surprised most investors. While a stock market crash or a market correction cannot be predicted, there are a number of tactics investors can employ to lessen the impact it has on their investment portfolio. On Wall Street, there is an adage that goes, if you don't sell it, you haven't lost it. In other words, don't worry about the ups and downs in between. The value of your investments won't really matter until the day you need to cash out. When your portfolio has lost 20% or even 30% of its value due to a stock market crash, there isn't much consolation. You can understand what I mean by just looking at the market this month or by thinking back to early 2020, when the COVID-19 outbreak first appeared. Market collapses are unavoidable and extremely painful. What then should you do in the event of a crash? Here's how to make the best of it. Number 1. Ignore a stock market crash. If you have confidence in your present investment strategy and portfolio holdings, don't alter your course of action unless absolutely necessary. After all, you might have kept a market crash like this one in mind when you constructed your portfolio. People who sell in a panic amid a crisis frequently regret their decision. Take those who left the ship in the spring of 2020, when the S&P 500 dropped more than 30% in a relatively short period of time. By summer 2020, when the pandemic rally had swiftly erased the early COVID market losses, they already looked back on their decisions. And by the year's end, they had lost out on profits of 65% since the crash is low. Number 2. Refrain from making impulsive purchases. Making panic purchases during a market crisis is vital to avoid, much like making panic sales during one. A state of mind known as panic buying can prevent you from achieving your present investment objectives by encouraging you to make impulsive acquisitions. After all, it frequently looks like the best opportunity to invest at fair valuations is when the markets are down. Investors frequently acquire index funds or blue-chip equities in these circumstances. However, many investors overlook their risk appetite when it comes to equity investing under such circumstances. Investors may invest in equities considerably above their actual risk appetite as a result of the buying frenzy that occurs when markets crash. Therefore, you should make plans for these assets before markets truly crash rather than buying in a panic. However, in order to do this, you must be aware of your level of risk tolerance. Only then will you be able to decide precisely how much of your current portfolio can be transferred from fixed income investments and other low-risk assets like debt mutual funds to riskier investments like equity mutual funds. Number 3. Continue rebalancing your portfolio. In order to generate better risk-adjusted returns on your assets, portfolio rebalancing is a strategy that aids in lowering the total risk in your investment portfolio. Using this method, periodic purchases and sales of investments are made to keep the weight of each asset class consistent with your desired allocation. In order to rebalance your portfolio, you must first have an asset allocation plan in place. A stock market crisis presents you with the ideal time to evaluate your current investments if you don't already have one. When evaluating your present investments, keep the following points in mind. What investments do I have, such as mutual funds, gold, stocks, bonds, etc.? How much are my investments worth? What are my monetary objectives? What factors, consistent returns, capital growth? Do I concentrate on while creating my investment portfolio? You can effectively assess your situation once you have provided answers to these questions and established target allocations for various asset classes. After that, you can choose which securities you should buy or sell in order to achieve your asset allocation goal. Rebalancing your portfolio properly can assist you control overall portfolio risk during unpredictable market conditions in addition to keeping you on track to meet your financial objectives. That being said, rebalancing your portfolio in the midst of a stock market crisis might not be a wise idea. Instead, you ought to think about waiting a little while before rebalancing your investing portfolio. The value of your investment portfolio is only one aspect of the stock market crash's effects. In fact, a wide range of factors including inflation, the real estate market, consumer spending, and employment can be impacted by the financial markets. Thus, the effects of stock market volatility can vary from person to person, but there are some things you can do to lessen these effects. With this, we conclude our video. We appreciate you helping us keep it going by watching. The best way to support our channel is to watch another episode. Thank you for tuning in. To ensure that you never miss an episode, please subscribe to the channel.